I'm not even gonna let you hold the burger. Did you get the ghost pepper on this one? Uh, hey. <laughs> I thought this was gonna be really easy, this is really hard. Question is, would you be able to figure this out? Matt's no stranger to putting some meat in his mouth with a blindfold on. Matt went to a frat. Matt King, welcome back to the Bangs. How are you? I'm happy to be here, Joe. I do have a question. Where is the food? Well, oh, oh, the food. Yeah, you said we were doing a burger battle. You said that we were going to be uh, trying all the best burgers. We are doing a burger battle, but there's one problem. You don't have the burgers? What's worse than not having the burgers? The end of our friendship? Close. Not being able to see the burgers. Matt, welcome to the Blindfold Burger oh Battle. Oh my gosh. 2023. <laughs> I've been wanting to do a blindfolded thing for a long time. Well, why don't you ask Patricia? Well, you know, Joe, <laughs> things haven't been going very well in the bedroom. Oh, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. I think I do have a blindfold. I mean, if you have one, that'd be great. I think I do. Okay. Hold one second. While Matt's inside finding his blindfold, he uses for sex. We have the three burger competitors, Jack in the Box, Fat Burger, and Five Guys. Three icons. Three of the biggest conglomerates in the burger competitor space. And today we're gonna battle it out to see who has the juiciest single cheeseburger of the trio. Trio, tree, three, trio. Matt is back with his blindfold. What's up, you sexy freak? What up, G? I'm moving and so everything's in boxes, but I've managed to find a mask. Does this work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't see anything? No, I can't. I've informed the audience, but we have three burger competitors today. Three of a different type of palette, one that may not be all over the country. You won't know until you get to the end. Do I guess them, or I'm just ranking off taste? Ranking and guessing, baby. Okay, ranking and guessing, let's do it. I'm going to give you burger number one. Burger number one, bring it to me. I'm not even gonna let you hold the burger. You don't get to feel the type of packaging. Burger number one. Oh, man. Ooh, the, 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 the crinkling of the paper does sound familiar. This is a good looking burger. The rules are you can feel it, you can touch it, but you can't see it. Okay, okay. Oh. Oh, that looks oh good. Oh my gosh, I know this one. It smells so familiar. Does it taste like home, Matt? It's definitely not Whataburger. There's no way that you got Whataburger all the way here. Or did I? Already, this, ooh, this seems like a really good quality bun. I'm gonna go for the bite. Swishing the meat and the cheese all throughout his mouth. Matt's no stranger to putting some meat in his mouth with a blindfold on. Matt went to a frat. Oh my god. This is so good, and I feel like I've had this before many times. Damn, is that Wendy's? Well, it doesn't have like a lot of mayo like Burger King usually does. It's definitely not McDonald's. I would know McDonald's instantly. What do you rate it on a scale of 1 to 10? The tomatoes are so fresh. I, oh, on a scale of 1 to 10, this is like an 8. Decent fast food burger for sure. Solid 8 out of 10? No no decimal? I got a bit of the mayonnaise. Yeah, it's either Burger King or Wendy's. That's a nice looking bun, man. Nice looking Burger bun. King has sesame buns. This doesn't have sesames on top of it, so it doesn't feel like it's a square patty. Oh, that, that goes all the way around. How do you know that's the burger meat, not my meat? Hey, Joe. I don't think it's Burger King. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Wendy's, but that's a good solid cheeseburger for sure. Wendy's burger, eight out of ten. Damn, I've had that before. All right, gonna have a little refreshment break. Clear the palate, man. Burger competitor number two is one of my favorite. Favorites. Use that as a context clue. I grew up in New Jersey. Is this an East Coast chain? Is it all over the country? Let me know. Uh, oh, was that one Jack in the Box? I don't know. Kind of had a Jack in the Box vibe now that I'm thinking about it. Now, there is a reason I will not let you touch the wrapping. Oh, I can already hear a little foily crinkling. Let's just try it. Let's go for it. Damn, that sounds like some true foil, though. I don't know any main fast food brands that would use, like, real foil. No, Matt. This is a burger. Oh, sweet oh home Alabama. Ooh. Did you get the ghost pepper on this one? Uh, hey, <laughs> don't tell me there's ghost pepper on this. In my hand, this feels like Burger King. It does have the sesame seeds that you were talking about. If there was a foil, I want to say maybe Five Guys. But it doesn't taste as good as Five Guys. This has like, damn, though this is pretty good. That's Burger King. Burger King's like, tomatoes and they have like a lot of like mayonnaise on it or like it's always like a very wet burger I feel like when you eat into it but that foil though did I switch it I have been known to be a little trickster in my day uh okay what do you think it was I want to go with I'm just going with my butt gut not my butt <laughs> not my butt my gut <laughs> that was Burger King but you switched the papers out to be tricky 
I think so. Because I just had a Burger King burger like two weeks ago, and that kind of reminded me of it. They, I don't know, they do have a new burger out, but I don't think you can taste the difference of that, like the Spider-Man burger or something. Do you want a little clue? That burger costs $10.28. Use it as you will. Five guys. Five guys. They charge so much for a burger. And I guess I've only been used to getting the double patties at Five Guys. So I can never remember, though, if Five Guys has sesame seeds on their buns or not. Number one, you ranked it at an 8.0. Okay, 8.0, yeah. Number two, burger. Uh, 6.5, but, like, if I was really craving that taste, it would be higher up. Definitely in the eights, but... I wasn't feeling that one. Now this paper already sounds kind of familiar. Ladies and gentlemen, this one is a treat. Question is, would you be able to figure this out? Let me know down, down below. Now hang on, I'm not done, I'm not done. Okay. Oh. This is some packaging right here, man. Um, Pack I'm just gonna say it. Packaging? This is an experience of taking this burger out. I think this is the hardest one. Okay, okay, I'm ready for it. It's gonna be the hardest one. But as a burger dinosaur yourself, I feel like you should know it. Have most people had... This one? Yeah. It's hard to say. Oh, that definitely is the most fragrant one I have uh, smelt so far, Joe. Really? Yeah, I would say so. Really wrapped up. You're still not to it? Not to it. It's like unboxing a Christmas present. Burger number three in the showdown of the century. Ooh, I'm so excited to try this. I'm so excited. I cannot hide it. I know, I know, I know. Oh my god. Matt, Matt, Paddywhack, give a dog a bone. Oh, first bite. I see some mayo on there, single patty, but it's pretty thick. I don't know how I feel about this one. That face did not look promising. It's really sweet. Like relishy? Yeah. Now this is the standard burger. I did not add anything, I did not take anything away. I know what this one is. Uh oh. I think I do. Kind of a thinner patty. So there's relish. Usually I think their standard one does have relish. Oh, oh. I feel like I used to order this a lot. You would order this one. Maybe when you first moved to LA, you were like, I'm going to get this place a lot. Yeah, no. Maybe it was convenient location. It know. was convenient location. I used to live by one. I think this is Fat Burger. I think this one's Fat Burger. The way the meat is just hitting my mouth, Joe. Is it the spice on the meat? Dude, it's the one thing I can never figure out, but all fat burgers have like that same taste. Now, I don't know if it's the relish or it's the way they season their meat. Man, this tastes like fat burger. That's fat burger. You're locking that in? Yeah, it's definitely not Fud Ruckers. <laughs> Who goes to Fud Ruckers? <laughs> I don't know, man. I've been to a Fud Ruckers since 1999. Burger number three, what do you rate it? <sighs> like a six? Though it, it does, it's a really well made burger, but like I'm not in the mood for that. I think of a name now. <sighs> I'm just gonna go with my gut. I'm gonna say Wendy's number one, Burger King, or Five Guys number two, and then Fat Burger number three. Guessing it. Are you locking it in? I'm locking it in, Joe. Burger number three, show it to me. You are correct. Fat Burger. Fat Burger. It was Fat Burger. Fat Burger. Ah, I know my Fat Burger. Wow, it is so bright. I've been blindfolded for so long. Burger number two. You locked your answer in it. Son of a no, I just remember number what number one actually was. Okay. Number two, you locked it in at five guys. You are correct. Oh my god. Sesame bun. I couldn't let you feel the foil. Oh, they really do put it on foil. Cause I had some. I was like doubting my mind. I was like, is it? It's like uh, aluminum metallic paper, but I didn't realize it was actual foil. Yeah, Five Guys is one of the only ones that actually does the aluminum foil. Wow. Okay, that was really good, but I think when you do remove the brand and the visuals, it makes you change your taste. Okay. So, actually, I would rank that one number one. Five Guys? Yeah. Also, there was a jalapeno on there. Did you taste it? Uh, I, see, I could smell it, but I didn't get to it. Did you only have, like, one jalapeno on uh, it? Let's, let's dissect. check. Because I did add jalapenos on this one. Oh! Oh, they were on the... They were on the back end uh, where you didn't bite. I didn't get it to it. No, there were four on there, but you didn't get it. Oh, so you smelled fresh. it. You did yeah. say because it smelled spicy. And number one, God dang it! I, I said it. I said it at one point. I was like, wait, was that Jack in the Box? Because Jack in the Box, that okay, the biggest predict the the giveaway about Jack in the Box is the bun. Yes. It's this bun. It has like the nice groove. Gosh, because I would know a McDonald's bun. Like a McDonald's bun, if you just do that, McDonald's buns start breaking. Squeezing, yeah. If you did that to a Wendy's bun. But the Wendy's have a square patty, so I knew that wouldn't have been. Okay, Jack in the Box, I feel like gets, gets a lot of sh I think they could reduce their menu by half because I think there's too many things on the menu sometimes. This is a great burger. Wow. This one you locked in at the highest at an 8.0. Yeah. Because that's like a reliable, great fast food burger. Jack in the Box. Yep. Huge on the West Coast. I like this. I really like this, Joe. 
I think I smell a fry video coming. Yeah, I'm ready. Bring fr <laughs> uh, fries all day. I could guess them, but I really did enjoy this show. Guys, if you like this video, comment down below. Let me know which what thing. restaurant should we do next. Should we do fries? Should we do chicken sandwiches? Should we do chicken tenders? Mm Ooh, chicken tenders, though. I feel like I'd be lost. Really? Maybe. I don't know. So let us know down below if you want to see that. Thanks so much for watching. Give this video a like as it took so much time to make. And we'll see ya. Bye. Bye. Can you believe we're getting married this year?